I'm Jenny reporting for Channel Surrey and did you know that there's a Maori meeting house in Surrey? I'm going to find out why it's here. Kia ora Jenny, welcome to Clandon Park. Thank you. Um, can you tell us what this place is and what's the purpose of it? In my opinion this is one of the most unusual buildings that you'll find anywhere in Surrey. It's a Maori meeting house, it comes from New Zealand. It originally stood in a very small settlement up in the volcanic North Island of New Zealand, a little settlement called Te Wairawa. And it was originally built by the Maori people who lived in that community as their meeting place, as their town hall. You would go here for baptisms, wedding ceremonies would be performed here, funerals would be performed here, but mostly it was used for people to sit around and debate the issues that were going on in the village at the time. And when it wasn't being used by Maori people for those purposes, they let tourists come in. Now I'm talking about the Victorian days, I'm talking about the 1880s. Can you tell me why it's at Clandon Park? Because you said it's from New, Ze New Zealand. Yes, it's 12,500 miles away from home. Uh, it was brought here in 1891 by William Hillier, who was the fourth Earl of Onslow, who for four years was the governor of New Zealand. At the end of his four-year term, he wanted a souvenir to bring back to Clandon Park of four very happy years in New Zealand. So it is um, the original? It is. It's the real thing. It's the only one of its kind in this country. It's one of only three in Europe, and it's one of only a very small number that exist outside of New Zealand. Because all of these carvings represent ancestors of the tribe that built this Maori meeting house, the tribe is called Ngāti Hinemihi, that's the Hinemihi family, all of the carvings depict ancestors, grandfathers, fathers, uh, unfortunately we don't know who they are. Uh, a note came with the carvings to Clandon Park explaining who they were, but I'm afraid 120 years ago that note went missing, so we don't know, we can only guess. So Alan, to me this looks like a thatched roof, is that like traditional? <laughs> of the? It, you're exactly right, it's Norfolk Reed thatch and it's not the original roof. The reason why it's got a thatched roof is that when Hinemihi was in her original home in New Zealand, she stood in the shadow of a volcano which erupted in, in 1886 and uh, several tons of volcanic debris landed on the roof of this building. Can I also say that this building sheltered 50 or 60 people so and all of those them. people lived, yes exactly, uh, over 100 people outside died. And when this building was brought to Clandon Park and it had its first lot of um, renovations in the 1970s, the man who was in charge of the renovations said, I've never uh, seen a Maori meeting house before, nevertheless repaired one, so can you give me a photograph to show me what one looks like? And the only photograph the National Trust had was a picture of this building taken the day after the volcanic eruption, and what he thought was thatch was in fact volcanic debris. So the thatch was put on by mistake. Oh, so it's not meant to be there? It's not meant to be there at all. Jenny, do you want to see some genuine Victorian Maori graffiti? Yes, I would love to. Come on, I'll show you something. This is something that most people don't notice. If you look very carefully on this carving here, you actually see that there is a word has been etched into the wood. The word is pikiao. And that probably means that the carver that worked on this particular piece was from the tribe known as Nati Pikiao, the family of Pikiao. So what significance do you think this meeting house has for people in Surrey? I think it provides visitors to Clannan Park with a very satisfying experience. Whenever you go to a National Trust property, you have a satisfying experience. But at Clannan Park, you have an experience plus, simply because you've got this beautiful building in the grounds. And what I like about it is it gets people asking questions. What is that building? Where did it come from? What does it signify? What purpose is it used for? How can we come become involved with it in some way? Wow, I've learnt so much today and didn't realise how special this historic place is. And it's just here in Surrey, so it's near everyone. If you're ever in Clandon Park, why don't you come and meet Tihimihi?